guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make an easy but yet delicious Jamaican festivals so to get started you are going to be needing one teaspoon of baking powder and I have three and a half tablespoon of sugar and I have half a teaspoon of salt three tablespoon of yellow cornmeal and I have two cups of all-purpose flour and one and a half cup of milk you can definitely use water instead of milk if you wish and you are going to be needing some oil to fry your festivals and I'm going to be using half a teaspoon of almond extract and also half a teaspoon of vanilla extract if you only have vanilla extract you can just use one teaspoon or if you just have the almond you can just use one teaspoon and I am using a cast iron to make this and if you want to add an egg to it you definitely can please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video so let's get cooking guys to get started I'm gonna go ahead and add my almond extract to my milk okay half a teaspoon and half a teaspoon of the vanilla I just love the smell that the almond extract have so that's why I love mixing them together again if you don't have if you have neither or you can use just one teaspoon okay and I'll go ahead and mix that a little bit and now I'm going to take my cornmeal my salt oopsies my baking powder which I lost a little bit of and then my sugar and just mix everything together and I did go ahead and grab a little more flour just in case I need a little more to keep my dough um, a little more firm okay and now you want to go ahead and add your milk I love eating this when I make jerk chicken and my kids absolutely love this I don't know if some of you know this or not but my husband and I um, this is a little fun fact I guess about us we actually got married in Jamaica we got married in Montego Bay okay so this was um, one and a half cups of milk and I definitely will need more flour so I, I guess you could take out three cups of flour okay when I make this it's like never enough my kids always want more so if I want to make more, sometimes I just um, kind of eyeball the amount of flour that I'm putting. But I always do start with two cups. Okay. And look like I will need just a little more flour. And I usually add my milk or water a little slower. Again, you guys know I will put the exact measurement in the description box as I always do. Now with clean hands, I'm going to be mixing it with my hands. You don't want the dough to be too soft, but you don't want it too wet um, either. Okay. put a little more flour I should have definitely um, add my milk a little slower but I wanted to speed up the video a little bit which I guess is a no no <laughs> so all I'm doing is kinda kneading the dough a little bit okay just like that Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I had such a good time on my birthday. It's always a blessing to celebrate a birthday every year. So thank you and I appreciate all the love that you guys showed me across all my social media platforms. And if you haven't, go um, follow me on Instagram. 
and on Facebook that's where I normally post pictures and my Instagram story of whatever I'm doing and also on snapchat all the links will be down in the description box for you guys to check out okay so this is how I want my dough as you can see it's not too sticky just perfect and then all I'm going to do is make like some dumplings or call it boy make sure you don't make them too too thick because remember we have the baking um, powder in there this is well, maybe double it a little bit this is about the size of how I'm gonna make mine and then now I'm going to start heating up the oil so we can start the frying process okay now it's time to put in my festivals I went ahead and turned my stove on to medium high and this is two cups of water that I have in here and I drop a little piece just to kind of test out my oil you don't want it too hot because you don't want them to burn before they are cooked on the inside okay so again I just took a piece of dough and just rolling it if you need a little more flour if yours is a little sticky you can definitely always sprinkle a little flour and as you can see they start swelling up because of the baking powder I'm going to try my best to keep them the same size but of course there's always gonna be some that are bigger than the other so again all I'm doing is this and once it turned into a golden brown color I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to the other side but I will come back and show you guys that process as you guys can see it's starting to form its beautiful color it's been like two minutes and I'm going to let them fry just a little bit more so I can be sure that they are cooked and some of them will crack as you can see that one split up a little bit okay so I'm going to keep turning them just a little bit and then I will add the other ones to the oil my festivals are finally done I'm going to be eating it with some jerk chicken that I grilled yesterday if you would like this recipe of the grilled jerk chicken go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let me know if you guys are um, a fan of jerk chicken but again the festivals are done and as you can see they're not sticking or anything but they're nice and soft in the middle I'm going to go ahead and taste one and they're not sweet which is what I'm looking for I don't want like a um, I don't want like a donut taste type festival so they are perfect to me and they have enough sugar so that they can help me combat that heat from my jerk chicken but this will do it for this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment like and share and as always thank you guys so so much for watching and i love you guys for watching see you in my next video bye bye